fog. Look at that. It doesn't have physical or fire. None of that magic. It's just true. That is such a weird unit. I'm excited to evolve him just to see what he does. God, he looks so goofy. I love him. And here is the unit fully evolved. It has a cool little green ore on it. Usopp is such a goofy unit. And this is actually a very unique unit too. This is the only unit in the game that has the feature I'm about to show you. If you've ever looked at or played like Balloon's Tower Defense, there was an attack tower thing that like placed attacks on the track. That is essentially what Usopp is. This is a very one of a kind unit, which is kind of interesting. But let's just go into a round so that way I can show it off. This unit is truly one of a kind. For now, at least. Okay, so here is the unit. So this unit's weird. He essentially shoots with his slingshot onto the track a flower. Now, it doesn't deal any damage until that bar is fully up. So now that it's fully grown, it's actually going to deal damage then. Let me go ahead and place down a unit to actually counteract the stuff getting by. So this unit is very much a support. Let's see, if it runs into this, will a second enemy take damage too, or is this only a single hit? It did explode and deal more than one damage, so it does have a small AoE for it, at least for the starting one. I know when you level it up, this attack changes to be a big old flower, so I might have a bigger attack then. But at least at the start, it is relying on the enemies to walk into the track, but it doesn't deal damage until that green bar is completely full. Now, these do only last on the track for a limited amount of time. I think it's about a minute or two. I'm not quite sure exactly how long it is. Yet again, it's kind of hard to tell considering they all get trampled right away. But this unit is weird in another form, too. I forgot to mention, if I go ahead and place it down, you'll notice that normally, if I have like another unit like my Aizen, for example, it says it's a magic unit. Sometimes it says physical, I have other things like lightning and stuff like that. But Usopp doesn't have that. He only has true damage, which I would go into true damage, but it's kind of complicated. Essentially what true damage means is that it bypasses all damage reduction shields, which a lot of you units have in special game modes, where like it'll not deep, or take like less damage from like magic units or physical units, stuff like that. That's the basis of what true damage does, but this unit is one of only three units in the game that has it by default, but this is the only get unit in the game that doesn't have physical or magic. I just thought that was an interesting little fact about this unit. But these little flower things, it will continuously shoot these out forever. They'll sit there forever until something hits them or the timer runs out. So a really good spot probably for you want to put this unit is you want to put it near like the middle or the end of the track all fully stacked up so the unit gets by like these two they'll run into these later on instead of having them up here where like half of them get trampled before they can deal damage you probably want to place this unit in the farther back if you're using it it does appear to be super helpful though depending on where you use it i hear some people say it's good for using on the infinity castle for later waves but it could also be really good for the infinites on having like the extra security at the end so that way you can like try to last like one or two more rounds very situational though from what i can imagine but it essentially shoots out a tiny little turret that doesn't activate right away sadly it has a small little aoe but the default stats for him, this is fully evolved with quite good stats. He has very good rolls. I think there's a triple S cooldown. Very good. Um, but 18.6 thousand damage, 6.3 cooldown, and 10.6 range is the default stats when you place it down. A little, little skewer because it does have triple S. But let's go ahead and buy the first upgrade, which is 37.3 thousand damage. 6.3 cooldown and a 10.6 range upgrade after that is a 65.4 thousand damage 5.8 cooldown and a 10.6 range not too bad next upgrade after that changes the attack on it damage goes up to 93 thousand damage 5.8 cooldown and 10.6 range and when you upgrade it, it actually changes the shape of the of the plant to be a flower instead. So instead of growing into a flat into like a little um, plant, it grows into a flower instead. Interesting. But 93,000 damage, 5.8 cooldown, and a 10.6 range. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and do the next upgrade, which is 140,000 damage. Okay. 
5.4 cooldown and a 10.6 range. After that, we have 186,000 damage, 4.9 cooldown and a 10.6 range. Pretty good. And then the upgrade after that changes the attack again. And the damage goes up to 261,000 damage, 4.5 cooldown and 10.6 range where it turns into a mushroom instead. So it goes from a little green plant. Ooh, that was really cool. I like that attack. But it goes from a little green plant into a flower on the ground into a mushroom. Very, very cool. That is such a cool attack though. It does a really big AOE too. The, the AOE is getting bigger. So it's hitting more enemies at the exact same time. Every single time it changes the attack. That is really cool. Look how, look how many it kills with this attack. Very cool. You'll also notice that all the numbers are black. Normally, when you're dealing with um, true damage, it has like the normal like blue or red number with the black number on top of it. This one just has the black number, which is really cool. But lots of damage on that. Let's go ahead and do the next upgrade, which is 560,000 damage, 4.5 cooldown, and a 10.6 range. This has almost a million damage without being unique. That is crazy. Oh my god. And that is the maximum stats on this unit. So the DPS is a bit weird. I'm going to just do the DPS as if it was normal. As of right now, this is saying it has 124,000 DPS. And this unit also has three placements. So if you get all of them placed down, you will have a total of 300. 73,000 DPS on every single one of these. And the really interesting part about this is you don't have to have it front line, which I wouldn't recommend it being front line because yet again, half of these things aren't dealing damage because it just gets read into by the units before they can deal damage. So if you have these things all stacked up at the end, you can have one of these like with a ton of these th orbs down. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and place the unit back here. We'll let us run for a tiny bit to see how many can have placed down. We'll go ahead and max it out too. Just so we can see how many of those plants I can have down at a time. But if you have all of these placed down, like near like the middle area or near the back, it'll have a ton of damage basically stacking, waiting for you to sort into it. So this is actually a very useful unit if you have it near the back of the map, which normally isn't the case. Normally, units are good no matter where they are. But for this unit specifically, it appears to be really good if you have it away from the front mainly so that we can actually deal damage in time but that is really really cool and so far this one right here has a one two three four five like six or seven yes seven of these placed down at a time so let's just say these also have seven we can even save eight because there's a faster cooldown is based off of total time they're on the ground and not how many are on the ground you can have up so you can have as many as possible depending on how many you can actually launch before they start despawning. That means you can have like three to four million damage per Usopp down on the ground waiting to deal damage to a boss. I could be wrong about that though, but considering how many mushrooms I'm seeing right here, one, two, three, I think a fourth right there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then let's just like add another four for the ones that could have down. That's 20. As of right now, there can be like 10 million damage on the ground if they have like 500,000 damage. It's a little bit higher though because of the higher stats. But you can have like 10 million damage worth of stats if you have all three Usopp's maxed out on the ground. That is actually amazing. Usopp might actually be meta for like long rounds but yet again as soon as all these mushrooms are dead and you have like they're being overrun like as of right now this usopp is dealing almost zero damage because every single one of the mushrooms is being overrun by units before it can deal damage so it's a little bit iffy on that situation if you're backed up you basically go from 10 million damage all the way down to basically zero just because it doesn't have the time to get the damage up that is very interesting. This is also being buffed by the new Oshi unit, which is interesting. We can also go ahead and max. We can also go ahead and add another 10% for the rare unit, which is 646,000 damage. Um, I'm not going to do the math for Arwen or Wendy because it doesn't have physical nor magic. And those units only buff physical and magic 
for the respective units. So I don't think those units can affect Usopp, which isn't that bad because Usopp already deals way, way too much damage. I mean, not too much, but my lord, this unit is much better than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Is Usopp meta? Am I right about Usopp? Is this unit actually insane? Like, if you can just straight up stack of whole lobbies with the Usopp's back here, waiting for a boss. Like, if you have four people, you can have 40 million damage just sitting there waiting for a boss to run into it. That is arguably more useful than like Aaron Founder, which is normally used for that situation of dealing with the units or dealing a bulk amount of damage to like a boss or something. I feel like Usopp is a boss killer because of that. But either way, let me know down in the comments, what do you think of Usopp? From what I can tell, this unit is absolutely godly as the title says. But thank you so much, Dak, for letting me showcase their Usopp. I definitely want to evolve this unit in the future, depending on how good the other three units are. This unit is definitely worth using, not gonna lie. I'm very, very excited to utilize this unit in a really high round. Oh yeah, and if it isn't obvious, I have a feeling that this unit is going to be heavily based off of how fast the SPA is. The faster the SPA, the better this unit. Makes me wonder if Godspeed will make this unit really, really good. You can have so many of these down on the ground with that.